Carson Wentz. Yep. So recently, what I think it was last week, Thursday. It was like it was like Thursday, right after, like two days after we recorded the right. last one. So Thursday, Carson Wentz, a deal is finalized. He is leaving Philadelphia and going to Indianapolis. Can't say I'm surprised, but I also can't say that I was expecting that either. What What were the no. initial reactions there? Uh, my initial reaction was this is uh, Indianapolis stolen. Um, that's so true a third round pick and a conditional second the second is not in conditional going away it's that the second could turn into a first if he plays 70%. 75 75 percent of snaps i yep. believe um which he most likely will unless he gets hurt which i think is why that was put in there right because he, he does tend to get injuries um and if he ends up tanking and doing terrible then they could just bench him and it's a second instead of a first which is a really big deal um so I think I think Indianapolis stole Carson Wentz away. I think the Eagles realized that um, everyone saw that they would have to release him because they were not going to spend the money on the cap that um, mm-hmm. that hit would have been um, if they hadn't got rid of him by I believe like mid March, early March. Um, so Indianapolis said, "Okay, well you're either going to make this deal or you're not." And then you're gonna be stuck with Carson Wentz, and you're gonna have to pay him, and then you're not gonna want to start him. So then you got someone sitting on your bench making 35 million a year, right. and good luck, deal with it. And eventually, Philly, knowing the you know bad organization, the way they're run, they said, okay, okay, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. Um, so now Philly offloads cap space, and Indianapolis gets a starting caliber quarterback that they did not have before. You know, I think it's interesting because if you're Philadelphia, you were screwed from the get go. You know, you had a quarterback with a massive, you know, a massive cap space hit, you know, a massive contract, a seemingly mm-hmm. broken quarterback that literally said, I do not want to play for you anymore. So you just checked mm-hmm. all the boxes for the worst possible scenario you could ever have as an organization. Yep. So, you know, I think it was one of those things where even though they might have been saying, oh, yeah, you know, we have a bunch of people that are interested. No, the heck you didn't. No, you I did. didn't. I bet you Indy was probably one of two or three teams that were interested, period. Sure. Um, and they got the best they could for him. Clearly, you're always going to take the best offer. So that was clearly the best offer on the table. That had to have been. Right. And, you know, my second question now, do you think that Indianapolis is better with Carson Wentz than Phillip Rivers? Is Carson Absolutely. Wentz going to be able to get his stuff together and actually become a quarterback that's functioning? So under the head coach that uh, the Colts have right now, um, Carson Wentz had him in Philly. Uh, I believe he was his offensive coordinator. Was it that, Frank uh, Reich? No. Frank Reich, yep. Um, that was the Super Bowl season that they had where Carson got hurt week 15, 16, whatever. Um, somewhere around MVP there. Season. Then, that was his MVP season. MVP season, right? right? He would have won MVP if he played the rest of the year. I believe he got hurt week, uh, I think it was actually 11 or 12, something and like that. But big boy was, Brady was... snuck up and took that thing, boy. Give me that. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, the Eagles ended up getting the Super Bowl that year, so I'm That's sure true. they were thinking you can keep the MVP. That's true. Um, but under Frank Reich, Carson Wentz was great. He was improving every single year. He was doing really well. So I think for Carson Wentz, it's all about his mental game, right? Um, and I think this is going to help him a lot. I think this is going to help him get his mind right, get his it's a fresh start. Uh, it doesn't help that your receiver doesn't want to give you your number. Uh, <laughs> but... <laughs> You know, I think this is a fresh start for Carson Wentz. I think he adds about a win or two onto uh, their record from last year. So they were ten and six last year, or eleven and five. I think they'll go twelve and four. Um, I think that's about where I see the Colts at this point. If they can get some more wide receiver talent, that offensive line's already good. Carson Wentz yeah, has not right. had a good offensive line since that Super Bowl year. They have not had offensive weapons, not even during that Super Bowl year. They now have a really good young running back who's looking to be a top 10, top 5 back going into next year. I think that he will show that. And that defense is a menace. It's it's really, really good. And if they can get even better, I see no reason why this team can't be the third or second seed in the AFC next year. Yeah, you know, I think what it's going to come down to is how are they going to try to introduce Carson Wentz to the Indianapolis Colts, right? I think if they try to come out there and expect him to be what he was back in that MVP season when he was with Frank Reich, I think that's a huge mistake. You're going to have to nurse him back to health. You know, if you look at it, Carson Wentz hasn't been the same quarterback since that year. 
every year mm-hmm. he's been on a decline, like we always talk about, right? He's been on a steady decline every single year up to this point. If mm-hmm. you want to restore him back to health, it's going to take time. You got to nurse him, almost baby him in a sense. Don't sure. make him do anything he doesn't want to do, right? Just just make make him a game manager for the time being. Just allow mm-hmm. him to manage the games, let him kind of get his groove, and then he can start to maybe make some plays again. I'm very mm-hmm. curious because, again, I think this is one of those situations. It's 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 gonna go great, or it's gonna absolutely crash and burn. Absolutely, yeah. And I think I think the good thing that with the position he's in right now is that that is a team that did rely on a running game and a and a game managing quarterback last year. So it's not something they're not used to. Right. But now they have a guy who can move, and they have a guy who's got arm strength, actual arm strength, who can make plays and get balls to receivers. Um. What do you think about Pittman saying, I'm not giving you my number? Oh, man. I'll tell you what. I, I don't think he owes him anything. I mean, you have no, no. you have no ties to the guy. It's not like, like he's like a Tom Brady or a Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers, sure. a Peyton Manning, anything of that nature. So, I don't know. I mean, I think it's funny that a, a former rookie going into his second year was like, no, nah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> See, the only thing I'm thinking is, I mean, at the end of the day, Carson Wentz is a gamer. He's going to want to win. But if he's got two guys open, Pittman's one of them, and he's got another guy open. Oh, I my he's goodness. I don't, I don't think I don't he's know. throwing to him, dude. I don't know about that, bro. I don't know. <laughs> Just think about it. You want to take care of your quarterback. He's the he's the one who's going to give you the ball. So maybe maybe put your pride away for a second. Grab number 10 instead of number 11. Uh, maybe Carson wants to get number one. I feel Last like number, guy to get number one on the Colts was uh, Pat McAfee. That's true. I feel like number ten is kind of a cursed number in like Indianapolis Colts region because like Austin Colley wore that number <gasps> a majority of the and you know what happened to him. Uh huh. Oh gosh, that dude had more you know, concussions than I can count on both hands, bro. It's re- it's I was, scary. I was gonna say he's got he's got CTE, no doubt. Oh yeah, we won't even go there though. But uh, <laughs> I'm curious to see what happens with them. I yep. think. I'm curious to see what their schedule is going to look like. I think that if they get lucky and they have an easier schedule, that's going to do nothing but help out the cause. Yeah, I think that best case scenario, this team's a Super Bowl contender. Worst case scenario, Carson Wentz gets benched halfway through the season, and they uh, they're six and ten, which is crazy to think about. That that you know, but at the end of the day, you got a quarter, you got no quarterback. If Carson Wentz doesn't pan out and he ends up being what he was last year, but I'm fairly confident that he won't be. He won't be what he was last year. This team is eons better than what the Eagles were last year. They have some competent wide receivers. Mm-hmm. If they, I mean, they're they're losing Ty, I believe, to free agency, but he really wasn't doing much towards the end of the seat to the uh, the end of his tenure in Indianapolis anyway. So go get a receiver. There's lots of good receivers in this draft this year. It's going to be a uh, very interesting show to watch with Indianapolis uh, down there in the AFC South. Maybe they'll break off Chris Godwin. Do it. Do it. That's anything, a great pickup. Anything will help. Anything will help. But let's... Anything better than lawn chairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's for damn sure.